just the last time when I did it, uh, so, yeah, three, two, about three weeks ago, uh, my family was uh, surprised. They said, me actually shining. I, I, quote, I quote, you are shining. <laughs> I am uh, 48 years old and uh, I come from France and uh, I live in the Netherlands since 2005. Yeah, my food is, uh, is a client of mine who uh, via social media uh, by my studio uh, terecht kwam and um, I, uh, I hij kwam in mijn praktijk en hij, hij was echt, hij zat niet zo goed in zijn vel. I was like uh, living for months like a robot. Everything was fine, everything was uh, doing well, everything, uh, everything was stable. I put everything was uh, in uh, in order, but this order came at a price that I was not. Uh, I didn't live actually. I was simply existing, but uh, I didn't live fully. I was absent yeah. while while being physically present. Dus wij hebben een jaar lang um, hebben wij gewerkt samen. Vooral ook in de praktijk op basis van gestalt. Ook heel vaak op het strand, want ja, ik woon dichtbij. Dus ik neem mensen ook vaak mee naar buiten als ze uh, dat willen. Okay, while we were progressing, uh, me and my coach, she mentioned that there was also a possibility to, to try self-therapy. To see where, uh, what it can t uh, teach me actually. Surftherapie uh, is therapie gemixt met surfen. Sommige mensen zeggen ook dat surfen sowieso therapie is. Mijn ervaring is dat als je surft, dat je dingen los kan laten. Uh, dat je echt in het dieren nu moet zijn, want je moet letten op de golven, de zee, uh, of je veilig bent. I, I was ready to try everything. Surf therapy was kind of a continuation and, and complement of the therapy itself. The first time, like, of course, you learn the techniques, which are actually quite basic. And uh, what I learned is, uh, it's uh, yeah, a metaphoric metaphor for life. I'm in the sea, I'm waiting for a wave. If I miss it, it's all right. I don't have the time to think what I have missed because another wave is coming. And this wave, okay, if I catch it, I decided to go and surf on it. The time window where I have to find a balance is very, very, very small. And uh, it's a bit like, uh, Sometimes in life you have to make some critical decision. And uh, if you are not fully on the moment, living on the moment, and not like your mind is something, thinking about, okay, the, the camp of your kid or this uh, project you have finished at work, you cannot do it. Yeah. So, so anytime when I finish a self therapy, I'm much more aware about being on the moment and think and do about what I have to do right now and not uh, something I've done in the past or something I have to do in two months or next week or so. So whether you're healthy or not healthy, it is relevant. I would definitely recommend it, yeah. Ja, wat je ziet, uh, dat mensen meer zelfvertrouwen krijgen, uh, meer uh, op hun lichaam durven vertrouwen, ook flexibeler worden, dus de motoriek verbetert. En uh, ze krijgen meer veerkracht, dus leren vanwege de metafoor van de zee beter met dingen omgaan. And what I learned also is about being less worried in a way. I can project the fact that once you find them, you're well in balance on the board, you have to go with the flow. You have a room for maneuver where you can direct your board and go where you actually where where you want. But at the same time, you are also uh, kind of forced to follow where the current is taking you. And that's also I say, a lesson in life. Sometimes it's not necessary to resist. You have simply to accept and go with the flow. And that's also metaphoric, also a metaphor from the sea into the life. <laughs>